Hi again, everyone, and welcome to Badger Breakdown. I'm Mike Lucas for UWBadgers.com. I'm joined by the voice of the Badgers, Matt LePay. Badgers and Spartans don't play for a trophy, but it's definitely a rivalry game. Yeah, it is. Last time they played, it was for a trophy, Big Ten Championship. But you look at the last, well, six games specifically, a total of 31 points. That's been the margin total in the two games, but it even goes back probably a little bit deeper than that. It's, a, it's I think as some of the players have said, it's a natural rivalry. And maybe it's only fitting, too, that both of these programs have gotten caught in a bit of a transition this year. They have, and most noticeably on offense, clearly, with, with both teams. We know Wisconsin, to its credit, has worked its way through it, seems to be getting better. Michigan State, new quarterback, new set of receivers, injuries on the offensive line, and, and the Spartans are still adjusting to that. Le'Veon Bell is outstanding, outstanding running back. I think much like Wisconsin, those young receivers that Michigan State has, Aaron Burbridge specifically, uh, will end up being pretty good. They're getting better, but they're going through the growing pains right now, and, it, and it's hurt them a little bit. And it's no coincidence either that they've struggled on offense, and you can point your finger to the offensive lines in both cases for different reasons, but the lack of continuity up front has hurt everything. Yeah, and, and you know, to Wisconsin's credit, it's been able to work through that, you know, at least to this point. Michigan State, though, loses its starting center, Travis Jackson, a few games ago. They've had to do some other shuffling. Their left tackle, who has you know become a, a, a little bit of a sign of stability in that offensive line, was not able to play last week. Dan France, they think he's able to go this week. But they've had to do some shuffling, so that has probably compounded the problems. And they've you know lost some real close games. It was Wisconsin's two losses by a combined six points. You look at Michigan State. They've lost by one point, two points, three points, and one of those is an overtime game. The only game they were really handled was against Notre Dame, but they could very easily be 7-1. and one. And the one thing we knew coming into this season is that Michigan State was going to be really stout on defense. All right, you take away the All-American and Jarrell Worthy, but they bring back the heart of that that defense that was so tough last year. Yeah, every level too, Mike. You have William Goldston, Marcus Rush on the defensive end positions. The linebackers, much like Wisconsin, when you watch Michigan State play, it's hard not to notice the linebackers, in Michigan State's case, led by Max Bulla. And I know the secondary, talking with Zach Azani, Wisconsin's receivers coach, he, just, he refers to that group as an NFL caliber group. And the names will be pretty familiar, I think, to, to Badger fans, starting with Johnny Adams. Yeah, and if you know Coach Speak, you know what a coach means when he says that guy is pretty. And we're talking about William Goldston. Yeah. I mean, he has all the measurables that NFL scouts are looking at. Yeah, big old wingspan. Oh my! You know, he's strong and he's long. Uh, a guy who can bat down passes, who can punish quarterbacks, punish running backs. The other guy's not bad either, Marcus Rush. In fact, he's very good. But you know, Goldston's a guy to keep an eye on. Have you mentioned going back to that second level, the linebackers, Denikus Allen? caused a lot of trouble for oh, Wisconsin yeah, in that fast. Big Ten championship And Max game. Bullock, really solid yeah. in the middle. Yeah, Very, it's, a, it's an excellent defense. First in the Big Ten in several categories. Among the best in the nation. Total defense, number five nationally. Well, I, I think you could take the linebackers from both teams, and any pro team would be glad to pick from them. Oh, the no three question. from Wisconsin and the three from Michigan State. Yeah, they hit you hard. They all move well. I mean, we've talked a lot about Michigan State's defense. That's what we do in this segment. But Wisconsin's defense, I think is still underrated, but not as much because I think more and more people across the country, certainly across the Big Ten, are recognizing the job that that side of the ball is turning in for Wisconsin. More than one player for both sides has already mentioned this week that you better put on your big boy pads. <laughs> There's no <laughs> doubt Joel Stavi has mentioned it and he's going to have to be ready. And this is as Brett would call it, this is a game of American football. Two teams, you know, not a lot of frills. Both teams will do some things. They'll do, and they've proven it in the past. They'll, they'll try a trick or two, but at the end of it, it's American football. And the postscript from the Minnesota victory would have to be the unveiling of the barge. And the barge, yeah, big boy football with a lot of big boys, seven <laughs> offensive linemen. You can imagine the look on the Minnesota defensive players' faces. Totally uh, unexpected to see this look. And the wild cat, or as James White said when he used it in high school, they called it the wild white. Um, they know what to do. And as Brett says, it's a lot of gaps you have to cover. So something else for Michigan State to prepare for. And you really have to give a lot of credit to Wisconsin's offensive coordinator, Matt Canada, because he's assessed the team strengths on offense, and he's trying to utilize all his weapons. And I really have liked the fact that James White has become a more active force on the offense. Yeah, he's really running well right he now. Is. You know, Monty Ball, Monty now. Monty Ball's really running it well, and which has everybody excited, and as well it should. 
But to see James White against Purdue and then to follow it up with a buck 75 against Minnesota last week, very encouraging. You ready for another chapter in this rivalry? Uh, that's great. Can't wait. This is this is fun stuff. Michigan State, Wisconsin. The only bad news is it'll be interrupted for a few years in the regular season. We'll worry about that later. Saturday will be fun. For the voice of the Badgers, Matt LePay, I'm Mike Lucas. Thanks for watching Badger Breakdown on UWBadgers.com.